Hey, it's Trent from the AI Kingdom, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to install and run Stable Diffusion on any AMD GPU. You're probably watching this video right now because of how frustrating it is that Stable Diffusion isn't really supported on AMD devices, whereas NVIDIA, everything just works fantastically, but we do have a workaround today, and unfortunately, there isn't much tutorials online on how to actually install Stable Diffusion and use it using AMD GPUs that aren't no offense to the other tutorials but really bad tutorials so i'm going to be breaking it down as easily as possible and if at any point you guys do run into some error but hopefully you won't please do comment down below or you can join my discord server where i'll hopefully be able to help you as i've run into similar errors in the past all i ask in return is if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as i post daily ai content that i'm sure you guys will enjoy with that being said let's get into this tutorial so there's going to be a link down below to this github page right here and this is going to be the fork that we we're using but before we get into actually installing this fork you will need to install python now i'll have the link down below to download python the version that you want to install is going to be at 3.10.6 which you can find right here on august the 2nd 2022 however i'm using 3.10.9 and that appears to work as well but if you don't already have python installed just go with the 3.10.6 version now the next thing you'll need installed is git i'll have the link down below to install git as well it's pretty simple you just download and then it's a simple installer and it works exactly the same as installing python just keep hitting next let it install Alrighty. so once you have both python and git installed on your computer you're ready to install this fork now what you want to do next is actually create a folder on your computer i'm just going to create my folder in here but you can literally put it wherever you want and i'm going to call it sd for stable diffusion then i'm going to make another folder called web ui once i create this folder i'm going to go inside of it and then go to the bar at the top here click that and then type in cmd and hit enter I'm going to bring up this command prompt here and i'm going to paste in the following text i'll have the link down below so that you guys can go and copy this text and paste it in so you just want to hit enter and it's going to clone and install stable diffusion to your device the next thing you want to do is actually download a model the model we're going to be using today is the newest version of dream shaper which is dream shaper 5 and man some of the art that you can create with this model is absolutely stunning however there's multiple other models that you guys can download and try out if dream shaper isn't working for you or you just want to test out other models there are models that perfect different types of art so let's say you really want to focus on i don't know anime styled art well you would download an anime based model in today's tutorial we'll be using dream shaper i'll have the link down below to install it already so link down below i'll actually have this website right here which goes over some of the best models that you can use within Stable Diffusion. The one we'll be using in today's example is honestly my favorite. However, there's some phenomenal models out there that you can definitely utilize and try out. They all have their different niches and quirks and what they're better at. So I'll go over a few of the most popular. And this page will also include the download links to all the models. So you can download whatever model you wanna try out and try it on your own computer. So some of the ones I've used is F222, fantastic at creating really realistic imagery. Anything V3 is a fantastic model at creating some really good anime art style. I've definitely used this the most along with, I believe it was like Waifu Diffusion. I think it's below in this article if I am thinking correctly yes it is so we have waifu diffusion which is also a fantastic anime model generator realistic vision v2 is also another one of my favorites creates really realistic humans I mean as you can see from this model right here other than maybe the eye kind of looks a little interesting but the rest of the image just looks very real deliberate v2 is another fantastic option at creating more realistic like illustrations so kind of looks like like the video game character but super high resolution as you can see in this example and obviously dream shaper which is the model that we're using in today's video it's just so good at creating these really crisp 
like fantasy worlds. And another one that I want to discuss is Modi Diffusion or Mode Diffusion, however you want to say it. And it's probably one of my favorites because you can literally create like Pixar like generations that look exactly like the characters you see within Pixar movies. As you can see from the examples here, it's really fun to do like image to image with this model and make yourself into like a Pixar character. And there's also in punk diffusion which is fantastic for like profile pictures on social media these work out really well but yeah i'll have the link down below to this article where you can go and check out the models that you're interested in and then also download them as well Alrighty, with our model downloaded we can go back to the folder that we installed go click in web ui stable diffusion and then you want to find the web ui bat file which is going to be this one right here you can verify by going to properties and it should be dot bat now you want to right click that bat file and select edit in these command lines you want to do one of two things either a you want to copy this text which will be linked down below and paste it in right here this will only be for people who have four to six gigabytes of vram so like lower vram you can actually check your vram by going into your search and finding dxdiag running that then you can see in your display the amount of VRAM you have. So as you guys can see, I have way more than four to six. So I will not be needing those command line arguments. However, if you do have more, I still recommend running the following text and saving just in case you run into any errors. Okay, now that that's edited and saved, we just want to double click on that bat file. And if you do run into any errors, run it as administrator. Because of where I decided to install my stable diffusion, it already has administrator access but you let's say tried installing it on your desktop and your desktop doesn't have administrator access all you have to do is right click and run as administrator instead of double clicking so we're just going to let this all install and i'll be back once it's done installing now actually in the meantime while it is installing what you can do is go and paste in your models or model that you downloaded so just go back to that web ui folder the stable diffusion folder Folder, go to models stable diffusion and then in here you can drag in that model that you downloaded already and if everything's installed correctly you should see a ip address like so at the bottom of your screen so you can just copy that paste it into your browser and bam as you can see we've pasted it in our browser and we have stable diffusion working on an amd gpu wasn't too complicated as you can see at the top we have our model we only have one because we only downloaded one model but obviously the more models you download the more you'll be able to choose from there's all these different features within stable diffusion i'm sure you have seen them online already so i'm not going to go through them all but just to show that it works we're going to generate a wiener dog eating a hot dog And there you go. We got a wiener dog eating a hot dog. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial on how to install Stable Diffusion on AMD GPUs. There's honestly not that many tutorials out there on how to do it, especially for AMD GPUs. So I felt like I had to put one out. And if you did enjoy this tutorial or it helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any errors, leave them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to help you out. Have yourselves a fantastic day, guys.